Today we're going to do some lead company analysis using data from HubSpot that we use the coefficient add-on to import into Google Sheets. So we have some leads here and we want to pull out the company name from the email and then we're going to build a quick report using some new functions in the coefficient add-on. So go ahead and launch it. If you have not installed it, you can find value on extensions, add-ons, get add-ons, and then searching for coefficient in the add-on store. Once you have it installed, you can go ahead and launch it and then follow along with the rest of the tutorial. So we're going to use this GPT Copilot and Formula Builder to come up with a formula to extract the company name from that email. So we'll just go ahead and just ask it to do that. And this is going to use AI to build the formula. So we'll say extract the company name from the email and we'll just start in cell D3. Click build. And we can select a little bit of source data for the building in. And now we can copy this formula and paste it over here. And maybe you just want to make this proper to capitalize the first ones. So we'll just add this proper around it. And then we'll just double click on the lower right and copy that formula down. And now we can go ahead and make a unique list. So let's say get unique values from column F. Let's just start in row three. Click build. We can copy this formula and we'll just go ahead and add it right here. So there we have our companies and now we can populate our data over here. And so now we're going to use a different one, GPT from sheet. And we're going to use this table function. So what we're going to do is GPTX table. And then we're going to select the company. And then we'll select our header row. We're just going to tell it which value you want to pull. So I'm going to go ahead and lock these. And then we're going to go ahead and drag this down. And then we have a list of companies. The HQ location, if available. Year founded. Number of employees. And the industry that they're in. All right, that is it for today. Hopefully that helps you to see how you can use ClickUp in your own business to help you quickly pivot data into the views that you need to see.